Okay. Let's see, because I'm a little early. I'm a little early. I'm hoping that you can... Um, light is good. At least it looks like it's good. All right. This thing, so I'm doing this, that I wanted to show you how you can make one too. So I'm preparing all this because I want to do more cards. And this is an example. You can see that I did all of that like these. And it's like this is pretty cool. So that's why I'm here today. I just want to uh, share with you little techniques here and there that I've been trying to learn from Tim Holtz. And uh, I haven't done this in quite a while. So I'm kind of coming back to all this. In a while, most of my videos lately weren't oriented to crafty stuff. But my channel is mainly uh, between craft and art. So it's a little bit of a mix. You, welcome back. And so, okay, so let's start by doing this. So the way you do, I, I use heavy stock, which is what is recommended. Of course, let's see, this is, um, this is good because this is the card side. Thanks. Now I'm going to use uh, my minis for this particular progress. And, um, Halloween color. Play with uh, this is wild violet, green theme, and I think we can use a little bit of black suit. Okay, so let's play with those colors. Let's see what we can do. So obviously, uh, I'm just prepping before because I'm. A, I think I'm a little bit earlier than everybody else. I kind of started this a little bit earlier uh, just because I didn't want to be late. Um, but we're just prepping this just in case nobody has come in yet, right? Or if you're watching this after live, of course. Um, so obviously you need your distress inks. We're going to need car stock and another important, another important tool for this project is water. Here, my distress sprayer, which is uh, obviously very convenient with uh, with Team Holtz distress inks, and of course a mat. And this is the Tonic Studios Team Holtz distress mat, which is specifically very good for this kind of work. Um, this is the Lefty, the Lefty distress Tonic Studio mat from Team Holtz. I'm a Lefty. I haven't seen anybody really work with this mat um, on a left side, so maybe this is something that interests you because it's really cool. It's actually really cool. I'm going to move it just a little bit. And um, of course, you have here your side for uh, doing your distress ink uh, craziness, and then you have your regular mat here to do more, more creativity. So welcome in. I see that uh, two people came in. I don't know if you're still here, but welcome to my channel. And um, what else do we need? I think, oh, oh and I, I want to work with the new, also, Distress Mica Stains. And these are great, guys. These are great. And I actually got all the colors from the line, this, specifically for Halloween. Now, my understanding is that come once a year and that's it. If you didn't get them, you didn't get them. So if you want to get a broomstick, so purple, green, pumpkin orange kind of thing. Uh, this is like a black gunshot or gray gunshot kind of thing. And this is like um, a very subtle, I don't know if you can see it, but it's kind of like a dark gold i'm gonna say but it's kind of goldish and let's see if i can show you i'm gonna put this on the side because we want to work with those as well but 
I use, see, this is, this one, I don't know if you can see in this camera, though, because this camera is kind of tricky, but this one has kind of that shimmer tone of the, of this one. This is the Empty Tum. I don't know if you can see it. See? And then for this one, which is the one that I was showing you, which is the Crooked Broomstick, it's kind of like a goldish color. Take a look at this. I don't know if you can see the shimmer. I'm going to try to move this a little bit since this is live. It's kind of different. This camera It's not like my other camera, but I think you can see it. So it's really, really fun because it gives a little bit more of a nice touch to your backgrounds. It's more whimsical if if you want to call it that way at least to me it's kind of like so we're gonna we're gonna just i'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do that if you have those tools so to start off obviously we gotta uh use uh, this side of the mat and like i said i'm gonna use um welcome again to my channel i see there's a viewer in my channel so we're gonna use carved pumpkin i'm gonna repeat it so the viewers know what I'm doing. Distress ink. This is distress, not oxide, but the inks. This is wood. This is twisted citron and black suit. Okay. All right. So let's start by working this. Now, I like to use blue, and I was using this one, so I, I still I think I could use a little bit of of this still. So it's just it's just regular um, paper, blue paper, or towel paper. And so this is really good because it's very absorbent. So when I spray, things don't go flying into my desk. Okay, so that's why I like using this here. Um, all right, so we got, and then also when I'm, you know, you'll see, you'll see, you'll see what I mean. Also when I'm drying the ink, with the car stuff, um, it doesn't stain all the because this is get really dirty. Even though you can clean it though, this is kind of like oh okay, it stays there, it doesn't go anywhere. And then when you finish, you just take it off and you can start working on your mat. So that's kind of cool. All right, so let's play with this colors. Let's see what color do I want to use. I want to use wild violet. So I'm gonna put a little bit of that. You want to use a little bit of twisted citron. On the side, um, maybe a little bit of this is car pumpkin, right? I'm gonna put it a little bit on the side, and I'm also gonna use a little bit here on the corner on the black suit, and down here a little bit of that black suit, okay? And then we can use the water, so you're just gonna spray this. A little bit. And then you're going to use your car stuff. So all you're going to do is tap in the areas that you want those colors to come in. See? So get that. Let's put a little bit more here. A little bit more there. Let's see what I got. I got kind of like what I'm looking for. I don't know if you can see. It's a very bright light on this side. I need to tone it down a little bit. Uh, let's see on that. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to dry this out a little bit. Right? With. All right, that's good enough. And I need more color, though. See that I need to cover more of this um, white areas. Let me tone down this light a little bit. Oh, it's it flickers if I do that. So, no, we can't do that. All right. <laughs> All right. So, <clears throat> I want to use more of the green. So, I'm going to do that. And I want to use some more purple and in the bottom here and more 
black. Not, there's not too much, so we're going to use a little bit of that. A little bit more or, orange carbuncan right there. There we go. Put a little bit of water, right? Put that in. Let's see. Let's see what we can get. Remember, in between, um, that's what Team Hope says, right? In between drying, to dry it out and come back again and put more color in. And that's exactly what I'm doing. So let's see. We're going to dry that out a little bit more. Because I still don't have anything on the center here and on the corner. So I'm just trying to manipulate the color though. Um, see, I want to put more green here. So if I would like to do that, I'll put more green here. Spray a little bit of water. And then I can do that. Let's just watch. So that. See? So you can actually manipulate the color where you want it to go. You don't really... You know, say, oh, my God, I didn't do it because it didn't go that way or that way. Um, no, you just just tap wherever you need to go. So that's the cool thing about this. Clean it. And by the way, the white ones. They, like I said, they absorb better and they clean better. So, so, I think I want a little bit of um, yellow to bring a little bit of more warmth to to the picture. So I'm gonna use fossilite amber. Thank you. That's a great color. Uh, let's do that. So that will bring more fun colors to the car, to the background, I mean. All right, let's see. So, let me just do this. Tap, tap it. And there we go. <laughs> see that? Let me show you. This is pretty cool. You may want to tap a little bit on the corner here. Sometimes when I have this white things, it shouldn't bother you. But if it does, what I do is I use my finger, right? And I bring that color in and I tap it in. Therefore, I have still more control of where that color is going to be. And so you can do that as well. Well, if you don't mind inking your, your fingers, of course. I, I know a lot of people don't like that. I don't care. See? I can put a little bit more of this color here, too. And it, it brings more interesting tones to your card, by the way. Well, I mean, to the background of the card, if that's what you're aiming for. Let's see? Let's try it out again, just a little bit. I'm still missing a little bit of color, so I want to work more of that um, purple, wilded, oh, I'm sorry, wilted, violet, right? So we're going to click our mat again. We're going to clean it up. This is too much 
yellow. It kind of get muddy sometimes, so all you got to do is clean it out and just put more. More bright colors, whatever you want to choose. So this, I'm missing more of that purple, I can see now, so I'm going to use more of that. And I'm going to just spray it out. And this is a smaller mat, so because it's small, you have a very small area to work with. However, the bigger mat, I do have the bigger one, but I have never used it, never. And when I bought it, it's when it just came out and you couldn't find it anywhere. And finally, I found it and it took forever to chip because they were in production. But at the time, they didn't have, I, I believe they didn't have the left one. I'm not sure about that, but I think they didn't. And so I bought the regular one. I have never used it, though. Okay, so let's put a little bit of that purple in there. Oops. Mm. Like that. All right. So I'm going to pick it up with my finger a little bit. I'm going to tap it. I think it, it works a little bit better now. I don't want to, I don't want the car to get too muddy because it's still kind of wet. I'm going to pick it up with a finger and just dab it, dab it, dab it. So it has a little bit of that color everywhere that I want. So kinda, that's what I kind of like go with when it just, the color doesn't want to just stay in the card. Stock, I mean. So, I'm going to dab it too. Dab, dab. Here too. And here. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. That's exactly what I'm that my inky fingers got inky fingers all the way you can use gloves but I don't think you're gonna like using gloves the gloves are not too fun when you are doing this it's more fun when you're not using gloves so let's dry it out a little bit So that's what I was looking for. It's kind of like grungy, kind of weird craziness here. This is perfect. So to give it a little bit of um, more dynamic to already the colors that I have implemented. We're going to use those famous uh, mica stains. And I think I'm going to use the bubbling cold rock. Kind of like a greenish color. So I'm just going to shake. You got to shake it very well. It says here to use shake bottle until mixing ball rattles. And pigment is suspended in liquid and spray directly onto the surface. Clean spray nozzle immediately after use. Oops, I haven't done that, but okay. Okay, so we're going to shake it. Oops, shake it, shake it, shake it. <laughs> came off. The top came off. All right, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. All right, we're going to shake it. Until all this is off the top of the bottom. Otherwise, 
if you don't shake it very well, you might clog the spray. So it's very important to do that. I had to clean the nozzle. I didn't know I have to clean the nozzle every time I use it, but okay. All right, so I'm going to move that a little bit over here. And I'm going to spray a little bit of that. You can also, you can do it like that, right? And it's kind of cool. But I think it's more beneficial if you actually spray this on the mat. And then I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you both ways, right? So that's directly to the car stop. And then we're going to go and do it on the mat. Because if we do it on the mat, the benefit of that is that you spray one, two, and then you spray water. And remember, because these are, these react to water, then you go ahead and you just dab it and dab it and dab it. And you're going to have very interesting craziness. <laughs> I don't know how, how do you want to call it. But. you go let me see if you can see the effect with this thing this is the distress mica stains these are great guys these are great so you you gotta use them because it just gives it a little bit of that whimsical touch and it's great look at that well, now we have a background for for a new card right so i think this is great anyway welcome to my channel whoever is here if you want to leave a comment that would be great if you want to or if you want to suggest something or you want me to do i'll more than welcome to do um, but right now we're using distress inks we're using distress mica stains specifically the Halloween Dean because I'm making Halloween cards and I'm trying to make um, some fun backgrounds. So let's see, what else can we do? I was trying to do, I wanted to do kind of like a um, candy, candy corn kind of thing. But for candy corn, we need, I think we're going to need yellow, orange, and black. So it's kind of like an interesting mix. Let me clean my mat again. I'm going to clean it up. Always clean it up, guys. Always clean it up. So you, you don't want mud. Remember that. You don't want mud on your mat. All right? So... Let's bring another car stuff. So then again, I'm using the Stress Media Heavy Stock Team Holtz. Rain. This is from Ranger, uh, but Team Holtz favorite car stock for blending and mixing uh, inks. I'm gonna try that. Can but candy corn doesn't have black. It has white. So how am I going to accomplish that? Well, we're going to have to use black. So make it a little bit more interesting, right? Uh, I think this this color is like this is good. So first, yellow, then, well, fossilized amber, then carved pumpkin. And we're going to use black suit again. All right. So let's do it this way like this, right? We're going to use... Fossilite amber, 
carved pumpkin. And we're going to use black suit. All right. And we're going to spray a little bit of water. Okay. Let's do that. I know. Uh, well, we'll we'll see. We'll see. Dab it. Just tap it. Just like that. See. We're gonna we're gonna dry that out. Like I was saying before, guys, uh, just dry in between, you know, whenever you're using your ink and and drying. Because if not, you're going to create mud and you don't want to do that. I believe a lot of people use ink, they don't dry it, and then they come back with more. They don't dry it, and then they get mud, and you don't want mud. You want colors to black. All right, more water. All right, more water. And this time, I'm gonna get a little. I'm gonna go a little bit lower, or maybe I'm go like that. All right? See that? Now let me show you. It's kind of cool. And we're gonna do the same thing. Like over here, if I have space, because I don't have too much space, but, all right. Look, that's kind of interesting, and we're going to do the same thing on this side. Okay, let's do that. See? That looks pretty neat. It's coming, it's coming a little bit here, that black, there we go. All right. That's kind of interesting, right? It's a little bit more drying. some here. I think we still can play with some of this. Tap. Tap. And tap. Yep, still making progress on this. But I'm gonna... see what I can use. I want to use a little bit of, of another color here to make it pop a little bit more. I think I'm going to use Vintage Photo. This is Distress Oxide Vintage Photo uh, on spray. So you guys check it, check it, check it, check it. Check it, check it, check it, check it. Check it all the way. Got to clean my mat. Let's clean our mat. Cleaning. Oops. Any more? I think we need a new one. This one is completely done. I think I got a little bit more over here. Yeah. Got 
one that we can use. Okay. So I'm going to check it and I'm going to spray some of this stuff right here on my mat. Ooh, this is going to be interesting. All right. So let me push it here. I mean, you know, it's it reminds me like a like a zombie scene. That's what it reminds me of. The zombies kind of come out from this weird scene. Okay, now Okay, but I'm still missing, see, I, I'm still missing stuff here. I want to, I want to have more color in the center, so I'm going to work that out. I already put a little bit of brown. I don't want to put more because oxide will cover it. In here, I don't care too much because it kind of worked out a little bit with the yellow. And over here, kind of like, kind of worked out. But I don't want to put too much. I just want to put a little bit. So... I'm going to clean my mat. Let's clean it again. And we're going to use more. I think I want to use more of the yellow, the fossilized amber. So I'm going to do that. All right. I'm going to use a little bit of water, and we're going to stick it right in the middle. Okay, there we go. Now we're looking into those colors. That's exactly what I wanted it. Right there. A little bit over here. And we need a little bit more, to be quite honest with you. Dab it a little bit with my finger so I can cover a little bit more. There. It's coming along. It's coming along. I'm not an expert on the matter. I said I've been doing this all make uh, watch some of those uh, team holtz videos and how to do this and it kind of works out you know let's put more yellow i like the yellow because the yellow brings uh, like power to the background so put more of that okay right there i'm gonna spray it And we're gonna just make a slight touch. See that? Make a slight touch. Especially the corners. The corners. Okay. Yep. Looking much better now. Okay, dry time. And we are gonna, what was the other color I was using? I was using black, orange, okay. Um, I want to use a little bit of, can, what color can I 
that we're bringing. Oh, I kind of like it though. I mean, it looks yeah. It, it looks kind of funky with the with the white on the back. You know, I like it like that. All right, so we're gonna use a little bit of this um, Jack O' Lantern Distress Mica stain. Okay. Remember, you gotta shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it until this is gone. Bring the cap off. Shake it, shake it, shake it. And don't worry about it if it looks like that because, like I said, it, it gives an interesting touch to the card. So I gotta shake it. Really hard. All right, let's see. Take it, take it, shake it. Shake it, shake it, shake it. All right. A little bit more. I think that's good enough. So I'm going to spray a little bit on my mat. There we go. And we're going to just dab it. No, we're going to put water first. Don't forget. Water. And that. Oh, man. This is great. All right. That. And that. That's going to give a very interesting touch to this. It just gave another interesting look. Look at that. And if you can see how it shimmers. But I can see it. I don't think the camera makes justice. But it's kind of like really, really cool. All right. I think I'm happy with that. Very happy. All right. Let's see. Um, do you view, like I said, if you have any suggestions you want me to do, you can go ahead and drop them in the say something box. <laughs> That way we can interact and you can tell me if something I'm doing wrong also. Uh, we can rectify that. But as far as inking and making wild backgrounds, I don't think it could be any mistakes, right? So we have made two different backgrounds. Kind of like a little bit similar, but not quite. This has a little bit of more um, green in green mica and this has more yellow and orange in orange mica well let's see again this is jack-o-lantern color which is kind of like a pumpkin color right yep this is it this is exactly what i'm looking for and i'm loving it i i, I really recommend i i can't recommend enough this uh distress mica stains they're amazing and like Tim Hall said, if you don't get them on time, you won't have them anymore. So this is a one-time shot, according to what I heard. So you should get them, guys. It's really, 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 really good. <laughs> All right. So I think we, we kind of like, I, I want to do another one, though. Let's see. This two is the ones that I'm making here live. And these three or four 
this one, this one, and this one, and this one. I made them in this morning learning the techniques, right? So, so far we got two. I think we can go ahead and do another one. This is really fun. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Let's see, what can we do? Maybe this time, instead of using this inks, we can use the oxides. And maybe we can bring a different, yeah, let's do that. Why don't we do that? So I'm gonna put this away. I'll also mix them because he says, <coughs> excuse me, you can mix them. So uh, we can keep them in there just in case I come up with something different, right? So for, sorry about that. I, I have changed my system of kind of having my inks and this is driving me insane. I used to have them all of them here and I could just grab them and, and do stuff. But now it's like organization and the organization is driving me crazy, but whatever. Okay, I'm going to use this color because I love this color rustic wilderness and maybe we gonna use violet and maybe black suit and what other color orange peel paint peel paint is really good too so we can use that and let's see what other colors I do have card pumpkin. You can use that. And, and that's it. Oh, maybe fossil light amber, which is this one right here. All right. I think that's pretty, pretty near the colors of Halloween. So we can use, again, I'm going to show them to you, right? Let me put them all together. So, Cosolite, Amber, Car Pumpkin, Peel Paint, Black Suit, Wilted Violet, which is this one, by the way, and Rustic Wilderness. The ones that I'm including that are not in the little ones are the Rustic Wilderness and the Peel Paint to give a little bit more of an interesting thing. Okay, so... Remember, the stress outside is a different beast. It's uh, more of an opaque tone. So really, when you're looking into the backgrounds, it's not they're not going to look as crazy shine like this. Like the color is very, you know, bright, very, very juicy uh, touch, right? Very intense. It's going to give you more of a muted touch like this. Um, let's see if you can see that, right? And like this, you see that? It's more of muted tones. So we're going to go ahead and try it out because um, I like the way this, this one came out. And they're really fun. Wow, I got a lot of colors. Out. Oh, by the way, I also, like in this one, instead of using this regular yellow yellowish car stock right i tried it out in uh watercolor car stock but instead of using the texture side i use the other side and look at that i mean can you get enough of that that's kind of cool all right so we got all these all right, this is the ones that I did, and this is the ones that we're doing, right? All right. Say hi if you're shy. Hi. Whoever is watching, thank you for watching. All right, so let's try. I'm going to go back again with uh, fossilized amber. Now for the, I'm going to have to work it like this because these are big. 
carved pumpkin. Right, carved pumpkin and peel paint. Let's do that. You know, this peel paint, look at this. Look at that. I've I very rare I have used this color. Um, but it's almost basically falling off the base. Now, I don't have no idea. What kind of glue can you use? Just to, I'm gonna have to write Ranger. If you have a clue, just leave me a comment down below. If you have experience having a pad that this thing is, I have never used it. I think it came like this. I have never had this issue before either with none of my pads ever. So you, you see, it's completely out of place. And if I do this, let me see if you can see that. You see that? It's kind of falling off from. Look. Wait. I mean, okay, there. See if I move it like this? It's kind of falling off from its suspend. I don't know how to explain it. But anyway, I'm going to have to write somebody. Or if you have an idea and you have experience that, you can leave me a comment down below. And see how to put that back into place. But more likely, I think I'm going to write Ranger and see what they can tell me. Because those these guys are the experts on that. Alright, let's try to do this carefully so it doesn't fall off. Alright, I think that's good enough. Okay. There. Alright. So we got those. Sorry, guys. I don't have too much space. All right. And then I'm going to spread a little bit of water. We need another um, piece of paper. Remember, perfectly for this kind of stuff. So I highly recommend it if you're planning to do something like this. Like that, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do that, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna pick more color, and more color. Uh, I like that, I'm starting to liken it. Maybe one more touch here. There we go, there we go. Maybe there we go. We cover a little bit of more of those colors and more on the center. Right. And more here and there. There. That's what I'm talking about. We gotta dry it. It's looking good. I like it. Now we can we're gonna add a little bit of maybe black suit. I don't know. Let's clean the mat. I'm gonna need more of the blue this paper towel. And I'm gonna clean. I'm going to clean my mat. And we're going to go ahead and use a little bit of, I don't know if I want to use purple or black. 
That's a very good question. Do purple. But this time we're gonna instead of using the oxide, we're gonna use this so you can see that you can actually mix these colors. All right. Okay. Get a little water. Okay. Do that. Oh yeah. We're gonna do that. We don't need that. And right here in the corner. Yeah. Yep. Kind of like a little bit what I'm looking for, not not the greatest. Yay and no. I'm going to tell you why no. Because the purple looks like if somebody just punched this and they have a very bad bruise. <laughs> That's what it looks like, but it's okay. I mean, like, it's all right, right? Maybe we need to use more black. And maybe we'll use it on the oxide instead of the ink. I don't like it too much. It doesn't come out like the one that I used before. Oh, you know what? It's, instead of black, because I am afraid that black is going to be very striking. So why don't we use a little bit of Rustic Wilderness? Let's see. Rustic Wilderness. Right? There. A lot of it. <laughs> let's spray a little bit of water. And, okay, let's try this. Hopefully it's not super muddy. Oh, yeah. Now we're talking. Now we are really talking. Corners. Remember the corners. The corners are important. At least for me. <laughs> At least for me. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. This is exactly what I was looking for. See, this, this color never fails me. Never. And when I tell you never, never. You can't go wrong with that color. No matter what you're doing. It's always like the best color to cover something. I don't know why. So, oh, I left my finger dabbed in there. Okay, let's dab, 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 dab. I'm going to cover a little bit of that white. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is exactly what I was talking about, guys. You see that? Now, now we have something going on. Before, it was kind of like something was missing. And wait until we put the micas. Because that's what it's going to give. That's when it's going to pop. All right, let's clean this. You can still use some of that if you're doing different, you know, backgrounds. Um, I mean, just for the sake of the video, I'm just going to clean it out. All right. Oops. Yes. Now it looks like something interesting. But we're still missing one more little thing, which are the micas. So, <coughs> excuse me. I think I'm going to use... Um, empty tom or like a stink flickering candle. 
it's hard to make a decision. I think I'm going to use this one, the flickering candle. We haven't used that one, so. All right, let's use flickering candle. Can you hear me? I hope you are hearing me because I see that the microphone is working, so that's a good thing. Maybe. <coughs> All right. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Shake it, shake it. All right, let's do a little bit of flickering candle. And water, 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 water. So we can have movement, right? So there, one. Oh, yeah. Yes, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. 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 Yes. So I'll dry this out. Dabbity dabbity. Oh, yes. I don't know if you can see it. I don't think the camera makes justice. Uh, man, this is really, really cool. I think I'm going to put a little bit more. Let's see. Let me clean this up. And put just one little, little bit more. You gotta clean the nozzle. That's what the instruction says. So, put a little bit of water. Maybe just in this corner right here. Right there. And more in the center. Right there. And more here. There we go. And we're gonna dry it out. So let's see if you can see it. I don't know if you can see it though. There we go. If I move it like this. I don't think the camera makes justice, guys, but in my view, it looks amazing. I wish you can see it. Now, I'm going to tell you that. It's almost an hour since we started it. All right. So I'm going to put this on the side. I'm going to take this out and throw it away. We don't need it anymore. Oops. We're going to clean the mat. Let's clean the mat. And come with a conclusion. Right? And I'm going to tell you that, oh, hold on, Jackie's here. She wants to say hello. Say hello, Jax. <laughs> she is, she's a uh, something. Anyway, because it's already almost an hour doing this, guys, we have created three different patterns. We use, and this one we use Distress Ink and Distress Mica Stains. Distress inks and mica stains and mica stains. And they're all different. They're all very different with unique coloring, unique mixes. Um, I actually did mix a little bit of oxide here. 
So we did. Wait, let me let me let me say that again. So we did uh, the stress inks here with the stress inks here and oxide because we did a little bit of that uh, oxide spray in this one, and we only use oxide in this one. But all three, we used the mica stains, and these are amazing. I mean, this product, if they don't bring it along throughout the whole entire year, I don't know. I think some people are going to be very, very mad if they didn't get them. I know that um, he uh, just put this one out, which is the Halloween series. It's, it, then again, it's two packages. This one brings uh, green, which is Bumbling Coldron, Empty Tom, and Hocus Pocus. And then there's another package that brings, I think it's like that, uh, Flickering Candle, Jack-O-Lantern, and Crooked Broomstick. And they all are the Halloween, the Halloween series. I think he said, and uh, I'm not, I think I'm pretty right on this one, that there are already out, and I've seen it, there's already the Christmas selection out for the Micahs. So if you're planning to do your Christmas cards early, uh, I suggest you, you get the Christmas ones because the colors are very beautiful too. And then again, it's just a one shot thing. So they're coming out for, they're already out literally. And uh, if you don't get them now, you're not gonna get them anymore. I'm planning to get the Christmas ones for my Christmas cards because it does gives a little bit of that whimsical thing. I don't know what it is, but I really do like it. I really do, guys. So, guys, thank you so much for watching that now that the ones that they were here and people that are in the future are going to watch this video. I hope you enjoyed very much on how I did this three different backgrounds. And I encourage you to play with your inks and have fun with it because this is all about fun. And these are going to be backgrounds for my Halloween cards. Thank you so much for watching. And um, if I see you next time, I hope you say hello. And I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye, guys.